Well, it's been a very interesting year, so to speak, not just for CSUN baseball, but for our country, our world, uh, dealing with COVID. So we've had to approach some things differently. Uh, obviously, our, our time as a team has been shortened um, uh, to prepare for this season. Uh, luckily for us, we have a team that returned quite a bit of guys that had started, uh, that had worked with the staff last year in our first year, um, brought in some talented uh, newcomers. Uh, and it's, it's trying to gel those two together right now. We've got some guys that uh, our lineup's gonna be pretty formidable. Plus we have some guys behind those guys that are pushing them right now each day to make them better or they could take their job. So it's a good problem to have. I like the depth that we have position players wise. Obviously everybody looks to Denzel Clark because he's uh, the preseason Big West Player of the Year nominee that, has, uh, that they've selected. He's the guy, but there's a lot of people around him that, that could spell him. Um, uh, Junior Ruiz, Sean Skelly, Mason Lee, uh, Robbie Bullard, just to name a few of guys that, that can contribute in big ways to help this team continue the, the success we had offensively last year too. You know, the pitching's all gonna be about the depth. Uh, obviously, this is gonna be new, playing four game weekend series, nine games each. Uh, 36 weekends in three, in three days is going to be pretty taxing on any pitching staff in, in this conference. So it's going to be about minimizing pitch counts, um, not hurting guys by bringing guys back too much. It's not going to affect the starters as, as much as it's going to affect the bullpen for how taxi they're going to be throughout the Big West. Um, but again, same thing as the offense. We like you, like you stated, we have a lot of guys returning that had experience last year, led by Blake Soderston, who is, is our guy, uh, as a, our Friday guy. But then he's spelled with, by guys like Blaine Traxel, who is our Mr. Everything, can pitch and relief, can start, will wear many different hats for this pitching staff, can pitch multiple days. Blake Shriver, who's been a closer in this program for many years and established himself last year as a guy, as a go-to guy. Um, Many guys, Gavin Lizick returning, um, many guys surfacing and some new guys that, that, um, that have come in that, will, that are gonna help the, the depth of the staff. But it's gonna be about the quality we go out and do each day of throwing strikes and competing, um, just like it is for everybody. But I like the makings of it, just like I like the makings of the whole team. And it's gonna be how we gel in a short amount of time and the belief, uh, the belief and the trust that we have for a program that hasn't seen the postseason for many years to, to, to believe that we have the opportunity to do that in the Big West this year. Obviously, we were shortened on our time for preparation, uh, but that won't shorten our expectations for what, for what we want to do here and continue to build this program as a power in the Big West Conference and a power on the West Coast and, and someone that can contend in postseason year in and year out. Uh, we have a lot of work to do in a short amount of time. I think this year we'll learn as we go, as our season approaches. We don't get the opportunity to play a non-conference schedule to kind of get the, the kinks out, so to speak, and find out who are our best guys. We're gonna go right into Big West play and play a very good Cal Poly San Luis Obispo team on, in the first weekend of, of conference play. So we have, our, we have challenges ahead of us, but they're challenges, they're good challenges. Um, challenges that we'll accept as a program, we'll accept as a team, and, and look them straight in the eye and, and, and take them on.